right guys, this is the Synco P2L. It's a digital 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone kit for your iPhone. I'm gonna be setting this up today with my iPhone 12 Pro. This is a very compact feature packed wireless microphone kit that I'm super excited to try. The latest pricing information and the links of where you can purchase this are in the description below. Let's go ahead and first unbox this before we get to the sound tests. And I'm also gonna cover some of the key features which I think you're really going to like. So let's get straight into it. So in the box, you have just these four accessories. You have yourself the user guide. This is the microphone kit itself, and I'll dive into that in a second. You have yourself the USB-C charging cable, then you also have a USB-C to headphone adapter jack. So let's take a look at this. You can see on the right hand side, there's the USB-C charging port. This is the pairing button. The way to open this is you just press it and it's like a little drawer that pops out. And then there you have the two transmitters to one receiver. This is called the P2L because it's for your phone and you have two transmitters. The L standing for lightning because this one is made specifically for iPhones. You see it has the lightning port there that will attach to your iPhone. But you can also buy this for Android phones and get the USB-C version, which is also linked down below. This is automatically paired out of the box, but in case you do need to pair it, it's very simple. The first thing to do is make sure you snap the magnetic clips and the microphones into the box. Then with the drawer open, you would need to just hold this pairing button down for a few seconds. This will light up and start flashing, and then that will mean it's automatically paired. All of the instructions you can find in the user manual, but just for a little bit of convenience for you guys, I can quickly show you that now. And if you do want to pause the video to take a look at the instructions in a closer detail, then feel free to do that. So take a look here on step number two for pairing. These are the instructions. Then you can also pause the video to read a little bit more information about charging this and how to check the power levels. There is LED status indicators that are on the front of the transmitters and also on the charging case. These are the sequential light sequences for different scenarios. So if you wanted to check the battery levels to see the pairing levels, these are the indications that you can see on the front of the devices. To use this with your phone, you simply just take the lightning adapter out, you plug it in and it's ready to start using. There's no powering on the transmitters or anything like that. It's literally plug and play, which is very convenient. In terms of the battery life for these transmitters, they can give you up to five hours of battery life. However, this is a very fast charging case. So if you are running low on battery, a 10 minute charge inside the case will give you 45 minutes of additional working time. So plenty of capabilities for long days of shooting. On a full charge, the case will actually allow you to recharge your transmitters twice fully. So you can be sure no matter where you're doing your filming, you'll always have enough power to get your filming done and get the best audio with your phone. Now, one thing I also wanted to highlight, which I think is great. Of course, you can see this is just flashing. So it's waiting to be paired. As soon as I take this out, you can see the lights are now sequentially just going from top to bottom. This means it's paired and you can start using it straight away. The other thing I wanted to mention is on the lightning adapter, you have a USB-C port here. That's where this comes in. This is the headphone monitoring adapter. So when you plug this in there, this is something great, which I don't think a lot of these smaller microphones for iPhones actually have this feature, which is a very big bonus for the Synco P2L. If you have someone that's you know behind the camera and they wanted to monitor your audio levels, this is the perfect way to do that. So you stick the adapter in, you get yourself a set of headphones, like so. Then you plug this into the adapter and whoever is the person controlling the camera, they can monitor your audio levels using a set of headphones for perfect audio production. One other really cool feature in addition to having the ability to monitor the audio with your headphones is that this microphone has eight voice changer effects in addition to the original audio effect. So in total, there's nine different audio effects that you can use this microphone with. And I'm going to show you some examples because these are quite fun, quite quirky. For anyone that wants to do very funny TikTok, Instagram type videos, this will go perfect for that. So let me go ahead and first showcase how the audio sounds naturally by connecting this microphone to my shirt here and switching from my shotgun microphone that you've been hearing since the beginning of this video to the Synco P2L. So let's go ahead and take a look at various examples of the sound tests. So now the audio is coming directly 
from the Synco P2L microphone. Let me go ahead and put this onto my shirt. This is actually very lightweight and I can't even feel that it's connected. Some of the other wireless microphones that I've used in the past to connect to my phone have weighed my shirt down a little bit. This one, you know, it doesn't pull my shirt down or anything like that. It's very comfortable and, you know, after a very short while, I won't even remember that this, there's anything even clipped onto my shirt, which I think is great. So let me know what you guys think of the audio. Compared to my iPhone, this makes such a massive difference. To show you how much of a difference this audio makes, I'm going to just pull out the lightning connector from the Synco P2L and you'll hear my audio coming directly from the internal microphone of my iPhone 12 Pro. Let me just do that here. There you go. And now this is the audio coming directly for my iPhone 12 Pro. If I didn't have this, this is what it would sound like. So for anyone that's looking for great audio to do any of their filming or any type of recording, this is highly recommended if you do have an iPhone or an Android phone. The quality on this is very good. It has deep bass, it has accurate alto, it has very stable treble. Let me put it back in. As soon as I connect it, it will start working again. There you go, just wait for the little light strip to start going upwards onto the receiver and then you know it's connected. So the quality, you know, I can't fault with it. And anytime I want to do some quick filming with my phone, this is my go-to microphone now because it's just changed the game. Next, I wanted to showcase some examples of the sound effects like I was mentioning. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. It's very easy. There's a button just on the side of the receiver you just simply tap it once and it cycles through all of the other eight different voice effects. I'm gonna do that and I'll list down here as well what voice effect that is. Okay, so this is the studio effects. If I'm in a very large studio, this you can hear has a very large echo. This is you know something if you guys wanna play around with, it's very cool to do that. So let's go ahead and move on to the voice effect number two. This is referred to as the KTV effects. This essentially is like a karaoke effect. So if you want to use this for singing or if you were in a karaoke room, this is what it will sound like. It might be quite similar to the previous one, the studio one, because it is quite echoey. But if you wanted to sing on your videos, then maybe this is the one to choose. Let's move on to voice effect number three. This is voice amplification. Again, you might find that it makes your voice very targeted towards getting the deep bass in your voice and to have it echo kind of like a studio effect. Much like the previous two effects, I think is very similar to that. But let's move on and really showcase the different types of effects by effect number four. This is electronic dance music. Kind of reminds me of the T-Pain type of voice effect. But you know, electronic dance music, the EDM mode, if you guys want to use this for any type of you know, electric music or if you're a DJ or something like that, if you want to do very cool things with this voice effect, this is how it will sound. Let's move on to the next one. This is the baby effect. This is probably the most funniest one and if you want to play around with your friends or family, I think that's just a very cool thing to do. This is perfect for like your TikTok videos, Snapchats, Instagram reels, things like that. So you can go around and have some fun with this voice effect. Now let's move on to the next one. This one is referred to as the male to female voice effect. So if you want to make yourself into a female type voice, this is the one to have. I've had a listen back. I don't think it's too much of a female voice, you know, playing around with the amplifications, the trebles, the bass levels, the mid tones on the audio. It's tried to emulate a female voice, but I don't think it's 100% accurate, but it's something if you guys want to play around with, you have the option. But the next one will be the opposite. It will be the female to the male one. But because I'm already a male, my voice will just be amplified a little bit more deeper. So let's go ahead and see that. This is the female to male voice effect. Like I mentioned, it's just because I'm already male, it's made my male voice even more deeper and a little bit more amplified. So I don't know if I would you know, use this specifically, but if a female wants to try this and see how it converts their voice, then this is a fun one to have as well. This is the monster effect. So if you wanted to maybe create like a, a little movie scene or a horror movie scene, I can see this being a very cool effect to use for that. 
if you wanted to recreate, you know, scenes from, I know what you did last summer, or the screen movies, I think this kind of resembles that type of voice, and it's a very fun thing to do. If you press it one last time for the ninth one. This now goes back to the original audio effect. If at any point you've accidentally pressed the button and you're not sure on which voice effect it's on, to go back to the original very quickly, all you have to do is just take the adapter out, the receiver, put it back in, and by default it will restart from the original one. So you don't need to worry about if you've accidentally pressed it. That's why it's always good to have someone maybe monitoring your audio with some headphones, just in case you have switched to a different voice effect, because pressing that button accidentally, it can happen. And if that messes up your entire recording, you'd have to reshoot everything again. So that's something to be aware of. Okay, so the next sound effect I wanted to showcase to you guys is the switch between mono audio, which is what you've been hearing up until now with the Synco P2L, switching it to stereo mode. To do that, you hold down for a few seconds the button on the receiver. The light strip will start flashing from middle outwards in the two opposite directions. So let me go ahead and switch from mono to stereo. There you go. Now this is the stereo sound. And as you guys can see, the light indication on the receiver has changed. So if you wanted to create stereo audio for your recordings, that is the way to do it. It's very simple to do. Literally for about three seconds, hold the button on the side of the receiver and you've got that switch. If at any point you want to go back to mono audio, then you just hold it down and you'll see the indication on the receiver for the light strip change once again, and that will be back to mono audio mode. To choose one of the different voice effects like I just showcased, you have to be on mono mode. Those ones will not work on stereo mode. So in this stereo mode, if I do press the button once, it won't recreate any of the voice effects, it will stay on the original one. So now that I'm on stereo mode and showcase the differences with that, the last thing I wanted to show is head outside and show you how clear this sounds because not only is it a very high fidelity microphone kit, it recommends that you know you can have up to 50 meters non line of sight connection with this. So I'm gonna showcase that by going outdoors and maybe walking around the side of my house to be blocked to see if it still picks it up and then also push it to up to 150 meters in a direct line of sight to see how well it maintains the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. So let's go head outdoors, give you some sample sound tests of each of those scenarios and let's see how it sounds. All right guys, so now this is an outdoor sound test. I'm gonna walk in a straight line of sight. This is about 25 meters down to the main road there. You can see it's a very busy road, so it will be quite noisy, but I wanted to showcase to you guys how much noise isolation this microphone can provide if you do use this for your iPhone. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the right and give you a non line of sight audio test as well. So it's another 15 meters to the right side of my house. So let's make a start. And I'll turn my back and I'll continue walking this way. And I'll continue talking at the same time as well. You'll start to hear the cars a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can still hear me quite clearly even with the traffic in the background. So here I'm about 25 meters away. Hopefully you guys can still see me from that far. But what I'm going to do is walk 15 meters to the right here and hopefully the audio still comes through with the house in the way and there's a couple of cars as well so that will give you a very non-line of sight test so let me go ahead and do that testing one two three walking on the way and now I am at 15 meters to the right side of my house in a complete diagonal block from the house blocked by some cars can you guys still hear me? Right, let me start walking back. Now I am slowly starting to walk back from the right side of my house. Hopefully it still comes out. Let's take a look. And of course, I'm pretty confident the audio sounds great from this distance. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how it sounds outdoors with a lot of background noise, with cars and traffic and also with obstacles in the way at this distance. All right guys, so now I'm outside and the final test that I'm gonna do with this microphone is to see how far I can go in a straight line of sight before the audio cuts off. Now it does recommend that you can get about 150 meters of great signal in a straight line of sight. If you see that board right back there in the distance, that is measured around 150 meters from this point here. So I'm gonna walk that way now 
and continue talking to see if you guys can still hear me clearly. I'm not probably going to use the microphone at this distance anyway, but for anyone that will, this will be a very beneficial test. So let me go ahead and start walking and I'll turn my back to you guys. So it's actually a quite a nice sunny day today. People have brought their pets out for a walk. They come here for using the bike trails, using their scooters, spending a nice family day together. I'm about 50 meters away now. Hopefully you guys can still hear me quite clearly. And I'm facing the camera and the microphone. Gonna continue walking backwards now. There's a nice pond just to my right here. This is a very nice national park with a lot of trails to go for a walk, go for a run. Getting close, I'm at the 100 meter mark now, maybe 110 meters. Gonna push it a little bit more, all the way up to the sign, which is 150 meters, which is the maximum. So now I'm at the 150 meter mark. Hopefully you guys can still hear me quite clearly and it's not distorted and it's not cutting out. But hopefully, you know, that gives you an idea of the capabilities of how far you can go with such a small microphone in such a small compact size. And for anyone that's looking to do a lot of filming at this range, and if you're going to use your phone to do it, this is the ideal thing. And, you know, for me, that is something that's very impressive that a lot of the other cheaper alternatives can't do. So let me go ahead and walk back to you guys now. All right guys, so hopefully you found those sound tests useful. I did notice there was a little bit of distortion as I was walking around the side of my house because I was blocked by an entire detached building. If I wanted to just do it from one room to the other and there's just one single wall in the way, I think it should work absolutely fine. But overall, it still maintained a very good and very strong signal. When I'm making a decision of buying a wireless microphone kit, one of the key factors that I always look for is its signal strength. And I can't fault this because this one, even though it's very tiny, it's very lightweight, it has done an excellent job maintaining that signal no matter what type of shooting I was doing. I probably won't use it for maxing out 100, 150 meters. So for most scenarios, and I guarantee for 99% of you guys that are looking for a wireless microphone for your iPhone or for your Android phone, this will do the job perfectly fine and it give you a great audio sound to whatever filming you're doing. So I recommend if you are on the market for something like this, check out the Synco P2L, or if you want one for your Android phone, the P2T for type C. This one specifically is 130 pounds. Take a look at the link down below. The one for Android phones is just around 120 pounds. So it's you know something I would see myself using and because this has two transmitters, if you wanted to use this maybe with a second person and you wanted to do an interview or any other filming with two people, this is also the perfect kit. I'm speaking into both of them, but as you guys can hear, you know, it's working absolutely fine. There's no echoes, there's no distortions. Both are being filmed and recorded directly into one receiver. So this is the perfect kit for that. Any other questions you guys have about the Synco P2L, drop a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I've reviewed many microphones in the past. I have a full microphone playlist that you can also click down below if you wanted to see other microphone kits. And if you did like this video and you like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.